guys welcome to another exciting development on St. Thomas Redevelopment of course I will be heading to the district of Seaford today so I'll be taking my wife with me to look for an aunt she has there anyway to my right you can see mountains of material limestones that they are using um, on the road at this section also they are they are doing construction like pipe replacement um, you will see fresh poles that has been installed by JPS um, also as we journey along we'll tell you that this section is referred to as Red Hills Marant Bay you have Red Hills scheme to my right um, and you have I think it's Cottage Pen to my left so guys I hope you enjoy the exciting journey and based on what I am seeing it appears that this section of the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project which runs from Morant Bay Roundabout to Cedar Valley uh, that's like you're heading towards Blue Mountain nonetheless uh, we can see that work is taking place yeah um so we give thanks for that so as we travel along we are going to show you the new development what is taking place we are going to show you new drainage system that is being built to the left that's a long drain we'll take you through slowly Look at that mixer to the right that they are using. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, that's a mixer. So here we are progressing smoothly. We are at Cottage Penmark Bay, opposite to Red Hills Scheme. We are going to show you the gully work that has been taking place at this time. So, to our right, you see some gully work taking place. Our left, some gully work for drain. Of course, two young goats having a fight. I don't know if it's a turf war for them, but clearly they are having a fight. So, as we progress even deeper into This section you call the Samarant going towards Seafort. You can see that there are new light pole, new installation. They look orange. And of course, this section of the road looks very wide. One could easily argue that in comparison to that which runs towards sections of retreat you would have a better space here anyway this is still part of eastern st thomas and so what you are seeing this is eastern st thomas and you have western st thomas so technically you are they are developing east and western st thomas thousands of people guys live this in this direction to my right over there that school was built by the Chinese about two to three years ago it's rather a state-of-the-art kindergarten school um, it's understand there's also pool over there for the children 
you see the gully to the right they are developing widening the road so a lot of things are taking place we have been here before and i am sure that you would have been familiar with this area based on previous videos so also you will see to the right there is also the Paul Bogle High School as you know or for those who are not aware Paul Bogle is one of our national heroes he fought for our freedom so if you know anything about the Marant Bay rebellion that occurred in 1865 you would know that he fought against the injustices that were served out to his fellow men so that was how the whole court house got burned down uh, they understood that the JCF was farmed and so on so it's a long journey and of course he hails from Stony Gut and Stony Gut is in this direction so you can imagine the amount of walking that it took for him to get from Stony Gut to the Mark Bay Courthouse then to Spanish Town where the governor for the country resides at that time uh, so basically they didn't get the justice that they wanted and so they returned and violence ensued they burned the courthouse down and it brought about a raft of changes so sometimes you know you want to change you have to fight for it even die for it so that's what happened at that time so we are now at Marant I believe it's still part of Marant Bay um, we are progressing smoothly the road is not a hundred percent because as you can see they are working on it um, compared to what it was and even if you look at my previous videos this thing is especially that little bridge here so this the former bridge that was here was built in 1912 now it has just been replaced and you can fit three tractor trailers comfortably in that bridge so it shows you the gravity or the magnitude of the work that is taking place one thing though it would be good to see that they will would they will rise sections of the road because for somebody who travel this route frequently we know that if you don't rise the road then when water come they mash it up back just like before so all those things i hope the engineers are taking those things into consideration the road is very wide yes guys so we are progressing yes so we are progressing towards See, well, this is where the, it's still a part of Marat, and we are progressing towards Seaford. Um, here you will find the Petcom Cookie Gas. They refilled gas within this area. Also. It is referred to as Marant Road. So we are moving along. So you can see drainage pipe, those massive drainage pipe, and we are progressing. So 
For those persons who have not come to Jamaica in the last 10, 20 years, you might be in the United Kingdom. You see how oh, wide the road are going to be all the way over the side there. You know? I look all the way over here. So this road is pretty wide. In comparison to that section that run from we all don't want to say Marant Villa to yeah, roughly Princess Margaret Hospital there about or the tire shop there there so it's kind of a chokehold I don't understand why they don't make the effort to do the thing properly widen it if you are going to spend that amount of money anyway we are on a detour so in the distance you can see the mountain range looking nice and blue it's overcast today not a day that you would say well you know it's sunny and bright and all of that it's more of one that is yeah, it's cool it's not hot it's just cool so you can see that these men are regular users of the road they just boom through the patrol without hesitation so we are heading along so guys, um, there is something important that I want to tell you about. I have a friend on YouTube. His name is Winston Gel Infrastructure Development. He's a fellow YouTuber, guys, and I am encouraging you to go and support his channel. Um, subscribe, leave a comment, tell him some center mass redevelopment sent you and uh, give him the support this guy has like over probably 300 videos but i don't know people watch his videos and they like it but sometimes people are not really generous in sh subscribing so you know it's a form of encouragement to say brethren appreciate what you are doing likewise you do the same for my channel do it for me so i am going to put winston gel infrastructure development in the description by the way guys you can use this road to access spring garden and this one to access sea fort in the distance we can see some road work taking place these guys aren't ramping them man are serious about them work so we have to give them credit you know and you know how we appreciate the effort that's been put in to ensure that we have the best uh, road you can also see water lines along the sides uh, it appears that they are digging to put in these water mains because it no make no sense to do the road and then dig it up back um, so it's only right that they do these things look them on the sky pretty today them pipeline up on the side of the road materials a lot of digging taking place and we are taking our time going through the rock the rut um, a lot of work taking place on the left drainage work as you can see is a new bridge right here now of course wow. so we have to give them credit you know credit is due a lot of work taking place so sea fort are going with things good work are going 
pipe work had done of course we have to observe the sign the man said go so we are going along going to Seafort so these men are out working mm -hmm. and of course they have their traffic personnel who manage the traffic so clearly the road is a lot wider Yes guys, material on site. Boy, this is a detour road. I like it. I like it man. The man them at work. Yep. So there's a bike man yeah, and in the distance you can see traffic and tractor working. I wonder if you know that love. You know, I'm mean, not disturb the man there. My man didn't do that thing. We just saw a pass and so you can see it. We are working with a time, we have to look for somebody and uh, stopping now would not do us any justice consider that the government is working with um, a time that citizens should be off the road by that time so as a result I am not going to stop but if you can see what's happening I hope that you give your feedback Tell the man them who I work what to think, when I love it, what? You can see a pipe, them are laying and say all of them trenches there. So when I say Centre Mass, I get a massive overall in terms of pipe work. You can see that a lot is taking place. A lot of changes is happening. And this is good for the parish. You, we have not seen this level of development taking place in St. Thomas for the last since uh, probably 1912 the last time they built those old bridge that they have now replaced so it is commendable that they have taken the opportunity to make these adjustments Look at that nice blue hill in the background. Yeah. So we are heading to C4. Guys, to the left is a pepper farm. So yes, the nice catch bonnet we want to buy in at the market. I hope that's where them come from. So, hope you guys like it. Of course, that man I drive as if the road fix already. Not bad. I mean, parts dealer must love him. You see? Anyway, so as I was saying, I'm going to leave Winston Gel Infrastructure Development um, in the description. So you can go ahead and check out his channel. There are interesting contents on there. Um, and guys, I have a lot of friends who do YouTube. So I'm all big up and make recognition in separate videos. I can't cram everybody into one video. But I'll make best effort that each video i do i give recognition to one person and encourage my supporters to check out your thing so them can see what i want and give them feedback with that said though um 
you see more pipes on the road you can see that they have they have laid pipes here already or are going to lay pipes so depends on how you look at it all right so yes brother speed gone nice building being constructed over there you know when I used to go to school back in the days you know, and of course I went to Robert Lightburn High School he was a former minister or member of parliament for Eastern St. Thomas he was at that time the minister of industry um, in those days we had robust uh, sugar uh, field tobacco fields and as such because of his contribution to the parish uh, it appeared they named the Robert Lightburn High School after him for his contribution to the country look at those good and those young farmers that is so good you see you, you, you live these people up here they are hard working they might not have the BPO centers they might not have the well even separate separate is in Seaford but it can take on so much persons and no more but these persons are making themselves useful them not no time to go rob and steal them raise them animal farm them farm take care of them children educate the children some of the hardest working people come from within this area but most times as you know the brains of St. Thomas don't necessarily work in the parish they go to Kingston and they come in back they build a house and so on so we progress towards Seaford same way we are not now at Lower York um, persons might ask one person said oh you never show my mother shop in the video I am trying to make sure I capture everything this time because I don't want person to say yo you know show my mother place and so on so I'm doing my best to ensure that I catch everything all right um with that said though um we are in Lower York and we are progressing towards C4 so I think the exact location we are going is somewhere in Soho see it says Lower York on the sign so we know for sure that we are at Lower York So we progress smoothly. One thing the taxi man they not play the road up here saying man then drive hard. Yep. So based on what I'm seeing though, it doesn't appear there is much work taking place in this area what is obvious though is that some pipe work has taken place to the right you can see like you know even though it's dirt you can see that there is a trench and to the side or the left you will see um, remaining pipes so you know that they put some heavy uh, systems under the ground ah 
so we progress towards Seaford same way we are at Lower York um, just passing Campbell's Funeral Supply and uh, also York's Mini Mart so York Mini Mart in York and we progress towards um, Seaford so you see a lot of used pipe are uh, remained of those heavy pipes on the road but there's a reason for that because they probably cut off piece the giant piece or so you never know now all I know them people up here are supposed to buy car parts every minute because the way them drive through this road it's it's without impunity <laughs> them just run through it as if it's normal anyway you can see citizens walking on the road east indian trees to the left beautiful homes of course So we are progressing. Sure, slowly but surely. You can see that seeing a citizen wearing his mask. You know, say so I meet him one day I'm married there though. Mmm. Waiting for the road. Oh road cash on a head. So you can see that some serious digging did go on at this place. Serious, serious digging. Road caution. And of course, yeah. Waiting for this road. I mean, even though it's, even though it's a fix, it has lots of potential. It has a lot of potential. Yep. Wow. So you see, she's not from the area, and she see the possibilities that can come from fixing these roads. You know, so the property value will shoot up oh, yeah. like skyrocket. Oh yeah. Let me rephrase going to skyrocket because you don't want to use certain terms loosely anyway people might misconstrue thing yeah anyway is that the blue mountain in the backdrop it just look nice but I don't think that's the blue mountain that's just regular mountains caution signs ahead so guys you can see that on this stretch that is being widened there's a lot of signs saying caution may not work. So as a motorist or whatever it is that you are using, there is always enough signs to tell you. Of course, here is a site where they store those heavy pipes. And this is in York. So there's those pipes that they are putting under the ground you know it's really good when these men take the kind of pride they put into the work to actually demonstrate to motorists and pedestrians and other users you know these caution signs because a serious serious things can happen if you don't have proper signs on the road of course look at that Toyota pickup them thing they hard for mash up you know them thing they just a them thing they built for them road yeah more caution signs 
there are more pipes on the road. I don't know if these are leftover pipes, but they do look like 10 millimeter pipes. The one that you see engineers like Plumber Charlie uses on the eastern end. But guys, one important thing, I must also say we are now in Western St. Thomas. I think we, part, we, are, we entered Western St. Thomas from a ridge finger post or Marant Road. Anyway, um, there is a church. I think a lot of persons know this church. Uh, they are they are, I think they are referred to as Faith Gospel Hall um, and they are in York or Seaford I think at this time we are in Seaford General Star yeah, there is a quarry of course the Jamaican flag on display whoever owns this little arbidashi with the bananas and all that stuff a proud Jamaican will go to buy from him in place look clean and we are now at Seaforth look at those nice houses bright yellow purple white uh, would have said those are my favorite colors but um, it looks it's hard not to notice right and of course in the distance is the mountain range to our left you would go to Seaford Ozzy Scheme and going further this is huh? okay you see a lot of aki trees so if you are from this area just give me a feedback tell me what you think it, it it's not really fast today because probably the world curfew issue but um my personal view on the curfew is I think that the government has to do what they must do to protect the population from themselves and let me clarify this protecting the population from themselves it means that while there are persons who will abide by the policies put in place to ensure are to slow the spread of the coronavirus there are persons who may have who may not be learned there are persons who may be misinformed such as you know you have popular entertainers spewing garbage about the coronavirus but they will never all they are thinking about is their pocket their pocket lining their pockets to ensure and at the expense of their fellow brothers and sisters so they don't care if they die one say who if it dead if it dead so they don't care about the people they only care about not having shows and they can hack you over there so i think that the government implement is in implementing these restrictive measures will definitely slow the spread of will definitely slow the spread of the coronavirus um you see in the hospitals right now they are out of beds of course this tulip road is to my left um 
So, as I was saying, the hospitals are out of bed. Little oxygen, little equipments have to be stretched to the max. We do not have the capacity in terms of human power. Human resources, let alone monetary resources, to absorb all the potential implications should we ignore the 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 the, the silent killer which is the coronavirus so for those persons who think so well them can just do whatever they want and put their family lives at risk their friends at risk well you, you clearly don't have no humanity in you if you can put your children, your grandmother, your mother passing Hamilton closet and all those people you claim to your love at risk especially the artists them where clamor for party start again so they can line their pockets with money at the demise of their fellow citizen you know I don't trust artists you know. I don't trust them entertainers they say one thing and they do another thing. They tell the youth them for bus gun and everything that is bad while send, sending their children to the best private school, getting the best education, the best start in life. They are not ex their children are not exposed to the kind of garbage they are proliferating over the, the, the airwaves. Ah, so we are now at Church of God, 7 day, seven day C4. Um, we're progressing smoothly, guys. We are in C4. And I think the exact location we're going is so on. Anyway. You see how that manager of the truck on the road, man? Anyway. So my advice overall, people, look out for yourself and your family. And even if you your family, protect yourself. Try to catch the virus. Do everything. Sanitize. Wash your hands. Avoid hugging, touching, kissing and stuff. Keep distance. And most importantly, wear your mask. It better you can't breathe in the mask than government have to hook you up. That is if you are fortunate enough for government to hook you up on one of those machines to help you breathe. So, you pick it. Is it that you... You can either go six feet below to relax or you can stay six feet above ground and enjoy life with your family anyway so we progress smoothly same way we are passing the sea fort police station you can see sea fort as a lot of shops and bars and so on um they are densely populated in this area here of Caroline V. Miles, my friend, she's an art teacher. She does art like myself. And we are in the town of Seaford. Um, so we're going to take a left, no, right turn when we reach the intersection. Yeah, so this is the town of Seaford. So guys, I hope you like what you are seeing as we progress through the town of Seaford. Beautiful area. Well, with the exception that the road is a mess now, but uh, that's understandable. If you're going to get road, you're going to have to work with mess. It's just like building a house. You have to learn to deal with the dirt of concrete and chipping and tile and everything before you can get something beautiful 
so this is the town of Seafort guys um, pretty nice area I love it um, and we are progressing smoothly don't push up let them come through first um, you have Unipet gas station in Seafort well and as you can see the police are out and I believe they will enforce their rules in a couple hours turning right we are not on blacksmith lane and we are going towards Soho yeah so you of Seaford Primary School. Tell me who come to that school here back in the days. They said them all pretty. And uh, we are progressing. So guys, I hope you like this vlog. Um, remember to support my friends Winston Gel Infrastructure Development. Thank you very much to everyone who has supported. Please leave a comment. And we end this vlog here for this week. Thank you very much guys.